Good morning. We'll try again. I don't know how it's going to do out here if it doesn't work well. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Good morning, Christian Life Calling Fellowship. I'm out here on uh, a lake in South Carolina, Lake Warren, and uh, had on my mind talking to you uh, a second if this connection will let me about rigid flexibility. Rigid flexibility. Quoted the verse in Philippians 4. Verse 12 and 13, for I know how to uh, abase and how to abound, how to suffer need and to be full, how to have little or how to have much. You know, and then it goes in, and the one everybody quotes is Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And people like to quote the second one, but not so much the first one. <laughs> That's called taking the verse out of context. You see, uh, Jesus gives us the strength to serve Him whether we're going through great things or whether we're going through terrible things. I can abase and I can abound. I can do all things through Christ who suffers me. And when I'm talking about rigid flexibility, that's what I mean. You know, you've decided that you love the Lord and you felt the Lord's love and His power and His strength in your heart and you know the presence of the Holy Spirit. And whether you're going through something wonderful or whether you're going through something terrible, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You see, it was also in a prison cell that Paul and Silas you know, sang hymns and gave glory to God and 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 rejoiced and, and, and told the Savior how much they love Him. Praise, praise not all to only be from the mountaintop, but also from the valley. You see, because it's not the condition of our life. It's not our temporal uh, circumstance that ought to cause us to have joy. But it's the knowledge in our heart that we live forever, that we have more than anybody ever could from our Savior, that we've experienced this internal gratification that makes us full of light. We're like a, a wellspring spilling over, you know. I mean, it's, you know, if you read Psalm 23, one of the, one of the things that I love is, is how Psalm 23 uh, ends, you know. And it, uh, the world always looks at things with cup half full, cup, cup, cup half empty, but Psalm 23 ends talking about our cup overflowing, you know. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. <laughs> he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for Thou art with me. Thy rod and Thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest me a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. Yes, 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 yes. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Yeah, I keep the oil in my pocket. Because <laughs> it's in my heart. You know, and I'm looking to share the realness and the power and the, and the touch and the, and the living reality of the Holy Spirit with everyone. And if you, you know, if you got a need, I'm likely to anoint you with oil and, and to share some of what's in, in me with you, you know, because the Lord lets our cup overflow. And that's what it means by life overflowing, you know. And sometimes that doesn't mean that your circumstances are easy. You may have to, I, I'm telling you what, <laughs> and I'm not going to describe them. I don't live in them, but I've been through some really tough, painful things in my life. I really have. More than my share. I don't know if there's such a thing as a share, but my bucket's been full of those too. <laughs> But I know the Lord's life. I know the Lord's love. I know the Lord's grace. You know, and He has filled my heart and my spirit in such a way that I feel that abundance of, of His ability to face anything so that I can truly say in whatever the circumstance, with rigid flexibility, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Recently, I had an experience oh, about eight weeks ago. I had an accident. My own <laughs> lack of attentiveness I caused it all. You know, but God was with me through that thing. Even while it looked like, you know, I'll be honest, I, I 
I about bled out. I thought I was going to leave here. But I was full of the Lord's love and, and his, his, his sense of, of, of deep companionship was in my heart the whole way. <laughs> but I got to the hospital. I shared with everybody I could <laughs> that, that I love Jesus. And I told him, I said, well, I've hit my head. You gotta listen. <laughs> Why not be full of joy no matter what we're going through? I mean, I don't think Jesus was raised on a sour pickle. He, he did face a cross and he faced it alone. Goodness gracious, none of us can know that kind of pain or that kind of hardship or that kind of difficulty when every one of our friends scorns us, ridicules us, and turns their back on us. But the Lord did for our sake. And because of Him, because of His undying, unending, ever-resurrected power, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you know what? If you'll receive Him deep enough in your heart so that He's first and foremost in your life, so can you. That's what I want for you today. Experience rigid flexibility. Whether you're full or whether you're suffering need, let Christ be your all in all. I love you. I'm praying for you. In Jesus, seek out.